In this video, I'm going to be upgrading my studio lighting using these, the Philips Hue Smart Light System. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and welcome to Studio Live today where we're looking at something a little different here today because the more I create videos, the more I learn how important good lighting is in your videos. And you may have noticed I've had a bit of an upgrade recently. I've got these soft boxes that my mate Clint helped me purchase and install and they are improving the quality of my lighting here in the studio. However, I wanna take it up a notch because we're in 2020 now and I want some automated lighting so that I, the flick of a switch or a voice command, I can turn on all the lights in my studio. So let's jump in and take a look at what we've got here and how we can set this up for my studio lighting. So a couple of quick things before we get started. Number one, there are some affiliate links down in the description if you wanna check out any of the products that I use in this video. Number two, I am not a lighting video or camera expert. So please take any advice I give you here with a grain shaker or perhaps mountain of salt. So now that that's out of the way, let's get into the fun stuff. What I have here is the Philips Hue Bridge, which is like the control center of our lighting setup. I've got two A60 white bulbs here that I'm gonna install in my two soft boxes. And I've got the accessory dimmer switch here that is going to allow me, hopefully, to turn off and on my whole lighting rig. If I don't have my phone or a voice activated device handy, I can actually just press a button and go old school. Let's unbox these and take a look. So here is our Philip Hue bridge. I'll save you my uncoordinated box opening, but this looks like it's the little puck shaped, well, a very square puck shaped device. Kind of reminds me of a white Apple TV. Uh, it's in its plastic there. Let's uh, pop that out of there very uncoordinatedly. So yeah, nice little interface there. And all we have here is a power connection and a network connection because we need to plug this in via a wired network connection into our router so that it goes into our Wi-Fi. And included in the box, we have our nice white Philips plug, the Australian version, because I'm in Australia, and a nice little short matching network cable. So we will plug that in a moment and uh, get that all set up. But let's first of all take a look at the actual light bulbs here, the Philips Hue LED A60. Now these have the Edison screw because that's what my lights there use. And if I can carefully take this out of its cardboard, this is a uh, nerve wracking because I'm doing it over my camera. There we go. There it is, little fella like that. Uh, yeah, it's a light bulb, right? Ding. Now I'm pretty sure the other light bulb's gonna look quite similar. So let's have a look at this, the dimmer switch now, and we'll take that out. Notice I'm just throwing away all these instructions. Apparently the Philips Hue app is so good I shouldn't need them, or so say many people. But this is pretty cool. This has got a little magnetic thing here. It's like a little remote control like that, and it sticks in to its little socket, little pouch there on the faceplate as the bus goes past. So I don't know, how, are we gonna magnet this to a wall? It's got some sticky bits there. We'll work that out later, uh, how to install it. I'm very handy, as you've probably noticed by watching this channel. Um, so we'll work that out, but that's pretty cool. We've got an on and an off switch and our dimmer up and down, which will be handy when we are not near a device or if I just wanna go, right, I'm recording a video, boom, turn everything on, we'll be good to go. And here is all of the gear. That was a lot of packaging for a small amount of stuff and these uh, have been rolling around. Funny side note, when I bought these, I had to take the empty boxes up to the counter because they don't actually store them in the store. So it was a bit weird. I'm like, can I buy these empty boxes, please? Anyway, let's now take this bridge and plug it in over there into my router and see what happens. Okay, so we're here in this awkward corner of the studio under the soft box so that I can show you that I've just plugged this into AC power. You can see the little blue lights on there. And all I'm gonna do now is plug this in, the network cable into one of the network ports on my router. So that's now done. And without me doing anything, the three blue lights all came on. They were solid. Now they're flashing, probably waiting for me to do something on the Philips Hue app. So let's grab an iOS device, download the app and take a look. 
All right, now what I should do is read the manual and work out what I need to do, but instead I'm just going to download and open the Philips Hue app and it's popped me straight in here and hopefully the three lights, the three blue lights are on my Hue Bridge. Hue Bridges says searching for Hue Bridges, not to be confused with Jeff Bridges, and hopefully it will find it. It has. Look at this. One new Hue Bridge found. And we'll tap on the connect button, I'm assuming, because it's green. Uh, what does it say? Push link. Uh, press the push link on the bridge you want to connect to. All right, I've got to jump over there and press a button. Click. Success. Hugh would like to access my home data. Ooh, apparently this uh, is compatible with Apple HomeKit as well as Alexa and Google Home. We will see what happens here. I'm going to have to agree to some stuff. I'll tick that and hit enable. I'll check all this later. Uh, HomeKit setup, use iCloud. Sure, why not? All right, so we're connected. That looks pretty cool. Looks like we're ready to go and we're ready to start doing things. Um, do I need to do this? Pair bridge? Is it already paired? What about that? Pair bridge? Uh, no, I think it's okay. I think that's if I want to set it up with all the home kit and Siri stuff. That's all right. It's good to go with our bridge. Why don't we now uh, install some light bulbs, maybe? So I'm going to tap on skip because we'll skip that for the time being. No lights connected. Add a light. Okay. So if I do add light, they're obviously there right now. They're not plugged in yet. But what is it going to tell us to do? To find new lights, what do we need to do? We need to, uh, okay, make sure they're powered on and then tap search below. Okay. So let's plug in a light into our softbox up there and see how easy it is to connect. Ta-da! Ooh, shadow puppets. All right, so as you can see by the fact that we have this shimmering light, we have plugged in and successfully turned on the light now. Let's hit the search button here, and what it should do is find that light without me having to do a single thing. It is searching for devices. What's it going to find? Drum roll, please. Oh, it's found one already. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Uh, okay, I guess I tap on this one. Ooh, it just flashed. Uh, that's cool. Hue lamp. Uh, there it is. Can I do stuff? Ooh, classic bulb. That's, that's just how I want it to look. Okay, so it's there. That's good. Now what do I do next? Okay, let's go next. Uh, no rooms created. Let's create a room. Let's do this. Uh, ooh, it's, it's very small text over there. Uh, I'm going to jump over there and actually read what it's saying, and then we'll come back. All right, I've created a studio as my room here, and we'll go next here. Congratulations, your Hue app is up and running. Let's go. I like that. Look at that. Let's go. It's made for me. All right. Hello, motorbike. So yeah, now we should be able to... Ooh, we turn off the studio. We turn on the studio. We turn off... Oh, <laughs> we've, <laughs> we've updated our terms of use. You turn the light bulb on twice and you've got to agree to update in terms of use. Okay, I got it. Anyway, back to, back to work. We turn off the studio. <laughs> we turn on the studio. All right, too much fun. Let's install the other bulb and then we'll take a look at this little sucker over here. We turn off the studio. I'm so handy. All right, our other bulb is installed. We now need to work out what we tap on. I want a new scene. Uh, three dots are always a good option. Uh, light setup. Yeah, maybe. Oh, here we go. Add light. We will do that. Oh, like that. Uh, search. Yes. It is in and on. Uh, yeah, new. Hue white lamp. That's the one we want. Oh, no, that was the one. That flashed the wrong one. Okay, we did something wrong. Oh, Hue White Lamp 2. <laughs> I was too impatient. I needed to wait a moment. Hit that one. Oh, it flashed. Flashed over there. That is cool. We're going to have to name these like lefty and righty at some point. Um, we'll do that in a moment. Uh, okay. That, that That's cool. What do I do? I don't want to delete it. Do I just tap it? Oh, that's just my that's just my symbol. All right. So it's added. Is that it? They're both in there. Okay. So if we close out of that, we go to our studio. Uh, oh, where am I now? Uh, I need to, there we go. Can we add that lamp to this studio? How do we do that? Uh, edit room or move, uh, uh, add lights. Here we go. Add light. We want number two. Oh, it flashed. Cool. Is that added now? Yay. We've got those both. Uh, no, we haven't. <laughs> Hold please. I need to work this out.
or I'd have worked it out. I had to edit room up here, not add light. So I'm editing the room and we're going to tap that. Now, I know the irony of this video is the lighting's terrible in this video <laughs> because it's all reflective because the lights are all over the shop. Anyway, that should be added now. If we hit save on that one, they should both be there now. And now we can turn them off separately or drum roll, please. If I tap them both on, boom, I'm lit up in the whole studio setup. So that's pretty cool. They can go on and off. The final thing that I want to test in this video is our dimmer switch on off switch thing. So let's see how we set this one up now. Now I'm assuming this is battery operated. We'll take its protective layer off. Yeah, it's got one of these suckers. So I'm just gonna pull that out without even reading anything. Looks like it probably uses some sort of uh, coin type battery in the bottom there. Oh, it's flashing. It flashed orange. I saw it, you saw it too. Uh, I like it. I just love the little magnetic clippy thing. How cool is that? It's like a light switch and a remote control all in one. It flashed again. Let's see if we can work out the app this time to get it added to our setup. Okay, surely I'm better at this now. Let's try the three dots here. Accessory setup, because this is an accessory, you see. And it's loading. It's doing a thing. The, the app could be a little bit more visual just quietly. Uh, we'll add accessory up in the top left corner. Got to tell it what it is. It's the Hue dimmer switch. We'll tap on that one. And it's going to say LED is blinking. Well, it is. Yeah, we saw it. It's blinking right there now. So, yes, it is. We've done the little plastic thing. We did it before the app told us to. Yes, it is. Searching for your dimmer switch. Hit me with your... No, I won't do that. Uh, so, it's searching. It's searching. I need help. I mean, I do, but hopefully this will just work. Look at those concentric circles. Boom, dimmer switch connected. Hooray, continue setup. I like green and I like ticks. All right, we're cool. Uh, how do we add this to our studio setup here? Let's go into our studio like this. And what's it going to say? Oh, it says it's already been set up for studio with my standard configuration, but I can come back and play with things. I'm just going to go done for now. We can customize later. By the way, the reason I'm doing this all on my iPad is my iPhone is filming us. So, uh, okay, that's done. Let's go back to studio. Here's my studio now. And we can continue to turn it on and off. Oh, that's, yeah, that's bright now. On and off via that. But what? let's just see if out of the box, if it'll just... Oh, hello. Turns on. And look, they both pop up. Off. Turns off. Yes, a grown man getting excited about the fact that a light switch can turn a light, or in this case, two lights, on and back off again. <laughs> and yes, I will be exploring using the app. Obviously, I can use my Google Home. I can use my Amazon Alexa. I can use Siri. I can use a bunch of different things. And that will be very cool that I can walk into my studio and say, okay, Google. Oh, where is Google? No, that's all right. I've, I've disconnected him. Uh, okay, Google, um, turn on my lights. And it will do that. And yeah, you can tell I'm pretty happy about it. And we also have the ability to control the dimming. Look at that, we can dim them down. So when I wanna to go to mood lighting, we can go down and we can bring it on up and it's represented here with our, oh, <laughs> it's going weirdly up and down. It's got a few weird quirks in there, but that's okay. They just didn't start at the same spot. <laughs> anyway, there it is. Uh, let's turn them off. Boo. There it is, the Philips Hue system. Uh, with my softbox lighting up oh, before we go. You know, I've got to flip us around and take a look at what these lights look like lighting this sucker. So let's do that. And let there be light. I hope you found this one a bit of fun. If you do want to check out the Philips Hue range of products, I'm pretty darn impressed. I'm looking forward to being able to use these and customize these and get just the right lighting for my videos. And of course, you can use this in any other parts of your house. There's a huge range of products. Check them out in the description below. Thanks for watching this one and I'll see you next time.